Hello, so in this video we want to talk to you about installing boat hole windows into your camper van. So we really like this idea and we ordered our windows off eBay and you can get them off Amazon too. I'll pop a link in the description of the ones we used. And whenever we did this we couldn't find any videos on like how to put them in. So we thought we'd do it and make a video to make it easier for you. So I'm gonna take you through it stage by stage and we'll see how it goes. Step one. <laughs> hey, your port hole. <laughs> There's uh, two bits. So this obviously goes on the inside uh, because it opens inwards. And then this clamp goes on the outside. And then literally you just want to create like a sandwich with the door in the middle and bring them together. Uh, so first of all, you need like a marker pen. What should we and do? this is a pig spider. There we go. So. And basically what you want to do is measure exactly where you want it. I'm going to base this on the same position as that one. So for us, this is 57 centimetres across. So halfway is 28, eight and a half centimetres. So. this one so the bottom of it sits just there so that's 23 centimeters down Now, so you want to cut it literally to the very edge of this red line because, and then the plastic sort of slips straight through. Last time I did it halfway through the red line, but then had to keep going back and filing it and it took a lot of effort. So this time I'm going to try and get it as close as possible on the first go. But um, if that makes you nervous, then it's best to sort of take it slowly because you don't want to take too much metal off. You want to do just enough because you can't put it back on again. <laughs> so. All right, so. I yeah. recommend you have ear defenders for this. Yeah, it's pretty noisy. It's very noisy and of course, of course. And maybe like a jacket as well because this spits back loads of little pieces of metal. And gloves. And gloves. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm a switch to the GoPro because I don't want to <laughs> listen to this. So I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, and to, before you put your uh, jigsaw blade in, the best thing to do is literally just drill a hole through um, with like the biggest sort of drill piece you've got, one that's big enough to then fit the blade in and then get you started. All right, let's go. Successfully cut the hole. There we go. And now I file it. I'm gonna file it down. Yeah. 
excuse the noise. So even if uh, the size isn't right, it's still a good idea to file it before you try to put this through, otherwise it's going to scratch it all up around the inside. And you're actually going to see this when it's done. Uh, another thing is, normally when we cut metal out of the van, we put masking tape around to stop it getting scratched. It doesn't really matter so much here because this is going to be over it, and then the rest of it is going to be hidden up in the final design. But if you plan on keeping any of this metal on show, then yeah, you probably wouldn't want to put masking tape down before you cut. Cool. Uh, so let's see. That circle is pretty good this time. <laughs> but yeah, just the um, again, it's the oh. yeah, it's just the bottom that seems to be catching this time. I could probably force it, but I don't really want to. So where's it catching? I think it's just right. okay. Okay, we have to make a couple of adjustments. But it does fit, I promise. Yeah. Um, so now we need to put the cutting tape, which should be behind us. Yeah. So this is Scotch Flex putty tape. Maybe you threw the box away. Um, we'll put a link in the description. So we found this stuff originally when we fitted the uh, Max fan and we used it on the MIDI Hecky, and we figured why not use it here as well. It's really mm -hmm. cool stuff. So it's like electrical tape. I don't know what for exactly, <laughs> but uh, it sort of molds a little bit, so it creates like a really cool seal. So, Stanley knife. You want to cut it against a piece of. Yeah. So we used about half the roll doing the first uh, window. So one roll is literally the perfect amount. So we slice it down the middle. then you can just sort of cut it into chunks and, and it's all filed down the whole way around just on both sides is create this seal as close to the line as you can really I recommend starting with the top so this is something we learned with the other one is if you start with the top piece first obviously the reins um, gonna come vertically down the door, so you don't want there to be a joint maybe right at the top just in case um, So yeah, do that and then So we do this around this end and the other end, isn't it? Yeah, so both sides so both sides again So say sort of touch it onto itself The whole way around and it does sort of mold together it's a little bit of... So you can see there it sort of molds together nicely yeah, you just want to literally do that the whole way around on both sides. All right, well, let's speed that one up. Now that that's done, uh, the next thing I recommend you do is drill the holes. Um, on the last one, we put the Sikaflex on first, and then we drilled the holes, but it gets really messy. So, so push this in. Is it on okay? Mm -hmm. Um, so, just a quick thing, so finding nuts and bolts for this was really confusing. In the end, we found out that it's M3.5, which is like a really specific and awkward um, hole size. We managed to find a, a company online that sells security screws or bolts, or whatever they're called, um, and they have like countersunk heads on them, and the, the piece on the end has a specific head. So instead of like a standard star head, 
You see that? Yeah. It's got like, you have to get a certain piece with a hole in the middle. Um, I mean, I guess you can buy these specifically, but they were relatively, they were more expensive than like standard bolts, but we wanted them so that when they're on, people can't undo them from the outside. Uh, these are four centimeters long, which is far too long. As you can see on our, on our existing one, they stick through really far. Yeah. So I recommend probably getting maybe two centimeters or two and a half centimeters long. Our plan is to buy some and just take these out and replace them. That's probably what we'll do. But for now, I mean, they'll do. Right. So you want to screw the holes, or drill the holes. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. The reason that broke, <laughs> the reason that broke is that I, I started putting it on and then started talking to the camera, <laughs> not to tie it properly. Um, All right. <laughs> there we go. Now, we can take it back off again. Without ripping off all the putty, hopefully. <laughs> Sikaflex 221, we'd use Sikaflex for putting in the uh, the Max fan and putting in the MIDI Heki, it's really good stuff. So, this is the plan. Which actually works well because our buttholes are black, so <laughs> it's useful. So, oh. So basically you put a dollop, a dollop around the whole thing. It's like hard enough a little bit. It's also really, really, really messy once you get it on your hands. To get it off your hands, we recommend uh, Clean Spirit. <laughs> it seems to be the only thing that works. Yeah. And to wipe, use Clean Spirit to literally wipe, wipe it off. Any excess stuff that goes on. Yeah. See the sicker flex coming through the yeah. holes. So to clean them. Yeah. So say these are countersunk, so they're really cool because they sit in really flush. But on the other side, because it's little tiny nuts. So that one there. Get it absolutely covered in the sicker flex. <laughs> wow, this is going to get messy again. Wear gloves and have a uh, cloth near you. <laughs> Cleaning products. And now we drill.
give you a final look at the portholes. So they look really cool. Ta-da! Look how cute it looks. So that's it from the outside. And then this is what it looks like in the inside. We're changing the screws, but it's really cute. So from oh, inside bed, we can look up.